Hello everybody, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak your iPhone first generation, iPhone 3G, iPhone 3GS, iPod Touch second generation, iPod Touch first generation, no iPod Touch 3G yet, on 3.1 firmware. So first before you get started, what you're going to need is an iPod Touch or iPhone already running 3.0 firmware. That means if you're on 3.1 firmware, you have to downgrade and then re-jailbreak on 3.0 firmware so if I go to general about you guys can see that it says 3.0 under version if yours doesn't say 3.0 under version then you guys got to downgrade and then jailbreak onto 3.0 firmware okay guys so I'm already there and obviously you, your uh, device already has to be jailbroken okay guys so more into the video first what you want to do is plug in your iPhone into your computer after doing so, what you want to do is open up iTunes. And you're going to go up to iTunes. And you're going to check for updates. If there are updates available, install the updates. Otherwise, you guys are going to get error 1600. So if there's a new an iTunes 9.0.1, update it, as I'm doing right now. Otherwise, you're going to keep on getting that error message, and it's never going to work. After updating your iTunes, what you want to do is go over to the video description over there. Over there in the video description, or if you're watching in HD down there in the video description. And you're going to download your choice of firmwares for your device. So, if you have the iPhone first generation like moi, you're going to need to download the iPhone first gen one. If you're on the iPhone 3G, you're going to need to download the iPhone 3G one. If you're on the iPhone 3GS, you're going to need to download the iPhone 3GS one. If you're on the iPod Touch first generation, you're going to need to download the iPod Touch first generation one. If you're on the iPod Touch 3, uh, 2G, you're going to need the iPod Touch 2G one. If you have the iPod Touch 3G, I'm sorry, but you don't have one, so you can't jailbreak. Ha ha ha. No, I'm just kidding. I'm sorry, guys, but you guys can't jailbreak the iPod Touch 3G yet. But make sure you go subscribe to my channel, and I'll update you guys and show you guys how to jailbreak it. Um, once the dev team releases, and yes, I will be getting an iPod Touch 3G once they release the jailbreak. So I'm going to be right back, guys, and I'm going to show you guys the rest of this tutorial and how to avoid error 1600 errors. And once you follow all of my steps um, before and now after I come back, you guys are never going to get an error, and this it's going to work properly for you guys. So I'll be right back, guys. Remember, um, just if you didn't, uh, if you missed something, just rewind, go back to the beginning of the video and watch again and watch again and watch again until you understand it and then you can try it otherwise you're gonna keep on getting error 1600 because you didn't watch my video then you're gonna comment down below that you got eight error 1600 and then I'm gonna have to help you because you didn't watch the whole video anyway enough of that I'll be right back guys okay guys so I'm back and as you guys can see iTunes is just updated and we're on the latest version now. So what you want to do is where it says restore. There's a restore button. Hold down the shift key. Hold down shift. And then click on that restore button at the same time. Just like on my last video option plus restore. This, one, this time it's shift click restore. After um, clicking shift click restore you should get this little browsing uh, tool here. And find the firmware that you just downloaded, which is the custom firmware, and I have mine right there. As you guys can see, it says 3.3.1 uh, custom restore. Find that, the one that you just think, uh, just downloaded. And again, your device does not have to be into DFU mode to do this. And if you actually do put it into DFU mode, you're going to get an error 1600. So no DFU mode for this, guys. No DFU mode. Then just click open and it will run and install the latest version. Just give it about maybe 15 minutes and then it will just restore for you guys. Then you set up as a new uh, device. After setting up for a new device, you're going to have Cydia and installer just like me. And I'm going to be doing this not with you guys because um, I, I actually don't want to restore right now. I'm still I'm working on saving a couple of things. So yeah, thanks for watching everybody. Hope this helped you guys. Remember, shift, click, restore, no DFU mode, latest version of iTunes, um, and everything like that. Subscribe for my videos if you need more. Just comment down below for a request, like how to downgrade and then jailbreak, re-jailbreak to actually do this because you need to downgrade. 
I also be doing unlocking videos for the iPhone 3G. Uh, my friend has an iPhone 3G and he always wants to be on the latest firmware and, and always wants to have it unlocked because he has T-Mobile too. So subscribe for unlocking tutorials and subscribe for everything. Remember, I'll post these download links in the video description. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this video. Rate, comment, subscribe. And also, uh, quickly... Quick little thing, guys. Buy these cases. Buy these cases right here. Um, QuakeEyeCases.com Q-U-I-C-K-I C A S E S dot com. I'll post a link in the video description also so you guys can pick up uh, one of these cases. They're nice colors and they come in all. So just check out the site and take a few, um, look at some of the cases and uh, pick out one of your choice, of course. Got a red edition there. Got tons of them, man. Just pick pick a case. You guys know what I mean. Got no right? Mm hmm. Pick a case. We got blue, we got red, every color. Pick a case. Right over at quickguycases.com. Alright guys, peace. Subscribe to my videos.